Hi everybody, uh, we're back in the studio today and today we are going to be painting uh, some flowers and a bumblebee which uh, was an inspiration uh, given to me by JB and uh, I think we're going to have fun with this painting. It's going to be in acrylics once again and um, I'm hoping that you like it. it, it it's a pretty easy painting and we should be very good with it. I mean, it, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, and in the meantime, I hope that you uh, click the subscribe button wherever it might be on my my video and also um, like my video and maybe make a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear from you and uh, for that reason, let's get started. All right, so the colors today that we're going to be using. I have Amsterdam Azo Orange or Azo Orange. I have Titanium White, which is a uh, Grumbacher. I have different manufacturers here. I have Windsor and Newton. This is Green Oxide or Oxide Green. You can also, if you want to try um, social artworking, uh, I will say also have it in this green oxide. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet because I don't know which one will cover better. Uh, sometimes these thinner paints they don't uh, cover as well. We have a phthalo red, which is also another. Um, it's called a craft smart, but it is uh, from Deco Art and social artworking. I have Cad Yellow, which is the basics. And I have Ultramarine Blue, which is also a basics. And we are going to use um, Mars Black, which is Galler, it's called Galleria, and that's a Windsor and Newton. So these are the colors we're gonna be using today. Uh, we're going to be using different brushes. They're not going to be quite the same um, as, you know, we do in the past. I mean, I have my favorite brushes that I like to use, and usually that's what I, you know, constantly use all the time. So we're going to get started. We're going to start out here with our uh, background, um, which might be a little bit hard after you get your, and I'll have this on my website, the actual tracing. Uh, you'll be able to find that either on Pinterest or my uh, traceable website. We are going to mix four parts of the uh, white. So I'm going to put my white out on my canvas, I mean on my palette here. I have my wet palette today because um, I want the acrylics to stay wet. So, as you can see, I've already gotten this wet. My sponge is wet. This is kind of damp in here. Uh, if things don't move along as well, we're going to use the glazing liquid. Um, I recommend the golden glazing liquid. There are other ones out there too, but I like that one basically the most. So, I'm going to put some white out on my canvas here, or my palette. I always call this a canvas. I don't know why. But I'm going to put some white out on my palette. And probably what we're going to be using quite a bit of white, I, I feel, you know. Um, and then we are going to uh, get some ultramarine blue out on the palette. So as you can see, basics, ultramarine blue. Not changing it. And that's a little bit. These paints get so dry and I'm not sure exactly what causes that. And I don't think I have any other kind of ultramarine blue, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably change because this is happening too often. It is getting like very um, glumpy, and it's sealed well, but I don't like the way that's uh, turning out. So things might be changing there. I'm going to be using this little brush here. It's a buttercream. Uh, it's a three-fourths inch flat, and it's a short handle. I'm going to start with that. I'm going to mix. What I want to do is uh, mix four parts of titanium white and a small part of the ultramarine blue. So you have to judge on this. So I'm going to just grab this, move it on down here. 
and grab just a tad of this ultramarine blue in here. Because ultramarine blue is kind of, um, it's intense, but you're just going for a light blue background here. Just a light blue background. So I would say less than one part, um, just a small amount. But you still want the sky to show up a little bit, so I'm going to grab a little bit more. So JB happens to be my cousin, and she uh, is from Oregon. And she is a cousin through marriage, and I think that she's going to like this because she is very um, into uh, nature and enjoys animals and is very, she volunteers at a, um, I don't know what that is, like a um, reserve uh, and we visited them out, well, a couple years ago and she took me to the reserve and there's beautiful, beautiful animals that have been hurt and they bring them, you know, back to getting better, uh, making sure that they can return to the wild. Some of them. Now, some of them can't because they're hurt too badly. Like some of the bald eagles that they have out there, uh, they can't release them because of the, um, I guess, just the way things go. You know, sometimes it isn't so easy for them to recover. So I'm just outlining. Now this is going to take a little bit of time. Now I'm using an 11 by 14 canvas by the way. Uh, you should be able to trace this on a smaller canvas if you want to. You can enlarge it. There's no problem with that. But um, I just uh, didn't want to want to do that, you know, like I I like the smaller paintings right now because I don't get running out of room and uh, I do have an Etsy shop if you're interested in that. Um, I can put the link down below. I do sell some of these paintings on because it I just have so many. And uh, if you tell me that you're, if you're inquiring, and you tell me that you're one of my followers, I will give you a discount. I will do, definitely give you a discount. You won't have to pay maybe for postage or something. You know, we could figure something out. Now I'm slowly starting to get near a um, thousand viewers or a thousand followers, which is so exciting. I cannot wait. And I think that we'll have a little something going on that day when I reach the thousand. I've been trying to figure out how to do a live, which is not not working out too well. I did it a while ago and I can't figure it out again. I don't know what the heck happened. Well, my computer crashed and some of the things that I did before just aren't working too well now. So we're going to go down to right about here, uh, this leaf right here with our blue. Don't forget to get the sides and you want to make sure that side goes to that point too. And I'm going to just tap into my blue a little bit, my darker blue. Kind of just get some darker blue up and through here. Just tap it in. Kind of just bring it in. You know, give it a little texture. Kind of like texture. I mean, I, I don't like things looking too flat. Love the texture. So let's see. 
going to go right down to this flower right here. Now, if you cover up the wings and things like that, that's all right. I mean, we're going to be putting in darker shade there anyhow. So, I mean, it's just basically drawing it back in. Still want to get a little bit more darkness up and through here. Oh, there we go. Kind of just blend it. I'm just going to make crisscross strokes here. Just blend it. And throughout here. Grab a little bit more of that blue, just blend it in. Kind of just making, like I said, crisscross strokes. Just kind of giving it a little texture of a little bit darker as we go up. Up into the sky. And just being very, very careful of how you're painting this. Now, see I'm turning it sideways because I feel that I need to get that a little bit better. And as this is starting to dry, I see some white spots, so we want to get those covered too. I'm going to hit it to that point there. Let me see here. Oh, we'll just go down to this point right here. Blend it in. Kind of just make little strokes down in there so it's like feathered. Kind of feather it in there. Very interesting little painting. Cute little painting here. Little bees. You know, they're in danger too. We have to uh, make awareness to these things because before you know it, they're going to be gone and then we're the ones that are going to suffer from that. So we want to make sure that people know things are endangered. I can't tell you the last time I saw a bumblebee. I mean, I remember when I was a little kid, I had to always be careful in the clovers because I didn't want to step on them. Uh, I did that a few times and boy, did that hurt. So I don't know now if I'm allergic to them or not. I mean, I don't even know. And uh, I know I've been stung by the um, yellow jacket type B, <laughs> which that hurts too. A little painful there, stepping on those. Well, I didn't actually step on it. it I had a um, bird feeder uh, for hummingbirds and those doggone things were inside there and so when I opened it up they weren't too happy that I disturbed them and boom did I get it wow attack of the bees there's a good movie huh maybe the big yellow jacket That a shark NATO be NATO. <laughs> okay, so let me just get a couple areas here that are a little 
white. Texture it up a little bit in through here. I still want to get some of that texture. So I'm not rinsing out my brush. I'm just going up in here and giving it a little texture. Just a little bit of darker blue. Grab a little bit more and put it over in here some. Lighter in through here, feather it a little bit. So there we have it there. I think we have pretty much covered our areas. Okay, I'm going to rinse this out. do is um, we're going to mix some green oxide with ultramarine blue and a little bit of the titanium white so uh, let's get the um we got the ultramarine blue we have the white let's get the green oxide I think I'm going to use this one right here for today put that up oh I'm going to get my nutcracker here to open this there we go Makes it so easy to open when they're on there very tight. So once again, um, let me get another brush here. Oh, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to get this one here. It is a number six uh, flat. Oh, this is a bright. I'm sorry. It's a bright. I'm going to pull out, um, my, well I have my green here, so I want like four parts of that. I'm going to have four parts of the ultramarine blue. So I'm going to just mix that. Four parts of ultramarine blue. So I pulled that into that. I'm going to mix that together. That's going to make that green nice and dark. bit more. The only thing is it's going to also make it clumpy. Let me get my little uh, palette knife. This little palette knife. That'll help mix a little bit and then I won't get it all into my brush. Now I'm just going to get a little touch of uh, titanium white just a touch in there not a lot just kind of touch it up so I got this bluish green color Sort of like this. That's the way it looks. Bluish green. Okay, so we're going to get some of this uh, put in down here. Um, around here. Same, same thing. We're just going to brush it in with this brush. It's going to be nice and dark. I'm going to add a little touch of water to that. Just to blend it a little easier here. Yeah, that's better. Much, much better. Much better. So I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can get this painted in. 
want your leaves because you're not going to be painting that color into the leaves. Those are tad lighter and then we put the dark in. Just want to get my edges here. bit of water just kind of help to get that smooth and like I said you can use, either use a little touch of water or your uh, glazing liquid just gonna kind of blend that up a little okay Oh, we're doing good here. Okay. Doing good. I wanted to, I'm going to have a little swig of my iced tea here. I need a new cup. <laughs> this one's getting kind of worn out. Mm, very good. Okay. Now my wet, 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 whistle is wet. I'm going to turn this again because I want to get the top part of this or this part that's um, on the edge because I want to make sure this is painted because this might be one I don't uh, don't put in a frame so you want to have this decent here As I'm going around these petals, I am using the side part of my brush, not flat. I'm using it vertically. And then as I go into the bigger strokes, I'm doing it horizontally. I may have gotten that backwards. <laughs> I may be going in vertically and horizontally different ways. just these little details are the ones that you have to really concentrate on because you don't want to go into the other parts but it's not going to hurt anything it's just that you know it's always nicer to kind of be careful what you're doing This week, or like last week at this time, we were going through that tragedy of um, the shooting, the synagogue, and uh, very, very upsetting, very upsetting. S 
so people have just become so I don't know what it is people today not everybody's crazy but there's a lot of crazy people out there without these gun laws to protect us I guess we're uh, we just have to be careful in our daily life just be careful in our daily life okay so there we go we got that now I'm gonna put that in my water and our next step is um, I am going to put in some just straight ultramarine blue uh, and just put in uh, some areas that maybe just in order to um, kind of get it, you know, like blending up and things like that. So I'm going to put some more of that blue, <laughs> gloopy color out. I am going to wipe off my palette knife and see if I can... make a little bit smoother. I think if I mix it, it kind of smooths out a little bit. Just needs a little mixing. It's just the binding, I guess, in the acrylic. Just, uh, So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pull that all touring blue that I just kind of cleared up, move it over to the side, and grab some of that green that I just mixed. Make a little bit darker bluish green. So you'll have a color that is more blue, if you can see that. Okay. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to just put some darker shades in some of these background areas. So I'm going to grab that brush that I was using, that number six, and just pull some of that darker shade into some of these shadowy areas just kind of getting that a little bit darker a little darker kind of around these areas here you can like put it in um, where shadows might fall that's what you want to do kind of just get it in some of the areas around the leaves Just kind of blend it in. All right. And uh, let's put some in here, like here. Because some of these areas are going to be, it's just going to kind of look like, um, leaves down in through these areas too, see? You're kind of just making these little shadow areas. And uh, I'm just going to put some shadows up and through here around this flower. Just kind of like that. Just tapping it in. Making it kind of look like um, something growing there. I'm going to add a little water because this is so dry. That blue paint is just so dry. Okay. Uh, let's see here. have something that kind of looks like leaves in the background. And then 
just tap a couple little things back in here just around kind of just have them come up Okay, so we got some of those in. Let's get some more of that up in here. Also, let's get another shadow right in here. So you want to just kind of fill this out. Okay. And this is all up to you. I mean, you just want to have something in there that almost kind of designates that there's some lighter leaves in the background. next part here we're going to uh, do the black areas of the B. Uh, I'm going to get my black out onto my can onto my palette and this is just going to go straight on and I am going to use my number flat in those areas of the bee so we're just gonna do this um, gonna add a little water to this also sure you leave the eye um, open here oops I made a mistake I made a mistake there let's see here this part of the light part of the B get some water and try to wipe that off a bit if you get it right away before it dries it'll come off good because that's going to be white and we sure as heck don't want that all yucky there and this is a big part. Well, it's actually going to be yellow. Just be careful and watch what you're doing.
this is a huge bee, but we're doing a very close up of the bee. Close up. Make sure he's colored in really well or painted in very well. Very important. Okay. Got that in there. Putting that in my water. Oh, he's going to look adorable. Now, um, rinse that out very well. I'm going into that light blue again. Because right around his tail, I didn't get very close. I want to make sure he's covered up. Okay, now I want to get my little um, round brush. So this is a number four round. It's a creative mark. And I think that will work very well with this. Now I can still see my lines through that blue. I'm going to get a little water added to my black because I want to kind of get that look like an ink-like consistency. And uh, I want to get his little antlers in and everything. So I am going to hold my finger onto the canvas. I put my pinky there because I want to make sure I get this right. And I'm just going to come down very lightly. I'm not pressing hard on this. Not pressing hard. Okay. And there's little things that come off of here. So just like little hairs, I guess. Okay. I'm going to go grab some more of my paint. I'm going to come. You know what? I see a little bit more, too, of my blue that I need to put in there. So I'm going to. Right, right in here, we need a little bit more of the blue. Right into here. Just making sure that I'm covered here. All right, now we're gonna, let's see. Bring this out a little bit. You can see I'm not pressing hard here. You don't want to press hard because if you press hard, you're going to get a really crappy look. Very light. Very light. You see, it's very, very light. Okay. okay let's see here. Somehow I went into my green. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Always round your brush like when you're doing this. You kind of always want to round your brush into the paint. Round it so it gets a nice point. Because a lot of times uh, the point doesn't come on there and then you're like, ugh. What a mess, huh? It can be. Okay. Now I want to get those little antlers in there too. Or his little whatever these are. I guess they're like his little antlers. I'm not sure. So that comes, oh golly, it's just about right here. We're going to, let's see. Hmm. Teeny weeny antlers. There we go. That's one. And we can put one up here, one up here. There you go. Well, we got our bee looking pretty good here. Um, now we're going to use a little bit of ultramarine blue and we're going to highlight some of these areas. But I don't want to do that yet because I want to wait until I get that yellow in. 
and that has to dry completely. Uh, so I think the next step that I want to do is I'm going to put some green oxide and chrome yellow together. I'm throwing this in the my paintbrush here. I'm going to put that in my water. So I'm getting my chrome oxide and my yellow because we're going to do some of these other leaves here. So putting that yellow out onto my canvas. And I am going to mix, let's see, I want to mix some, uh, I think about uh, maybe two parts of the green and four parts of the yellow. So we're going to make a really bright green. Re Oops. This isn't quite the, the paper that's supposed to go in here, but so you're going to get a really light here, light green and as soon as I mix this I will show you what it looks like since that does not want to stay grab a little bit more of that yellow put it in there and I'm just mixing this with my palette knife because I think it'll mix it better And you get a really nice bright green with that, if you can see that. Now, I'm just, I, I'd really like to have a little bit more um, this lighter. So I'm going to add a little bit more of my white. I'm just going to add a little bit of white to this. Just to brighten it up a little bit. I might even have to use a little bit more white, but we'll see how this looks. Yeah, I think I like that, but I still think I want a little bit more of the white in there. It just kind of brightens it up. You want to kind of get it a little bit lighter in through here. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks good. So you ready to see this lighter? Can you see that? Okay. All right, so I think what I want to use now, um, I'm just going to use, let's see, what brush? Well, I kind of like this one here. That's my number two flat. Simply Simmons brush. Let me get some paper towel here. And I am going to just paint for my palette knife. No sense in wasting that. And just get some of these little petals in. Get some of these petals. Now you can always make yours lighter if you like. You can always do that. going to wipe that out a minute. I want to get a little bit more of that blue into there. Um, I want it to come in there a little bit deeper. That sky blue that I mixed. Like that. Oh. Okay, there we go. I'll come back on that again. I'm getting some of that green in there. Like that. There we go. Get some of my blue that I had mixed with some of the white. Just kind of like tap that in there a little bit. There. Okay. Uh, get some more of my leaves that are green. We're going to make these all green here. And even in the center of the flowers but you know what I want to put more of that yellow out on my 
palette because I'm going to be using some yellow interacting with this. Um, I'm not going to rinse out my brush. Just putting some yellow on these beautiful leaves. So it's going to be lighter on the top. And I may have to wait until that dries a bit. Okay, so I'm going to get some yellow. I'm going to pounce it in here. And I have that green on my brush, which is good. Get some of that green in there. And variegate it a little bit. Then we'll wait until this dries, and then we'll put some yellow on top, maybe with um, a little bit more white, get it more opaque. looking back to see that my camera is still working. I, <laughs> I have those issues all the time with the camera, don't I? Don't want to run out of my filming. And I think, okay, we got some of those. I want to put some more of these in here, but I'm just not sure. Maybe... Add some of this in through here a little bit. Just tapping it in there. And perhaps just putting one here. Perhaps. What do you think? Just kind of like getting it behind that. Don't forget, like, you're coming over to the sides, so you want to make sure that you get your sides too. Sorry, I'm being kind of quiet right now. I'm going to get a little bit of my water, put it in there because I'm having some issues getting it to cover. Get my side here. And this is my other leaves that are coming through from other areas. Get that covered up. Now with that rinsing my brush, I'm going to go into my yellow and put this one in. I'm just kind of giving it a little texture. So I get that painted on there. Texture, texture. Flyers aren't flat. And add a little bit of that green into some of these areas here. 
I mean, this, this isn't even going to show, really. It's just that we want to have it in there. Okay. I hear my Sally out there. I don't know. She must be eating. She's making all kind of funny noises. She's such a silly girl. This is the time consuming part because you want to make sure you're getting it within the areas designated here. This is our light green mixture with our yellow. Make sure that all the white spots are covered. Very nice, very good. Very good. So what I want to do here is get my little round brush, go into my green, and put some little stems here. Like that. Get some stems in here. them here and here. Okay. And this one is coming down, but then this one comes off of it. Okay. And uh, just want to get some of these in here before I forget them. And this would probably be coming right down here. So you have to make sure that you don't forget that. Okay. All right. Well, this is starting to shape up real nice really nice if I hope I'm not in the way too much sometimes I like to get close so I can see and it's hard to if you ever paint it from the side it's kind of hard but hopefully I'm not in the way too much.
I just love to hear a paintbrush on the canvas. I know it sounds weird, but <laughs> I just love that sound. Okay, and then right here, we're going to come down. What's that one? Get all these leaves in and let them dry. Then we'll go over it with some yellow. These all don't have to be perfectly, you know, perfectly shaped. I know that these look like they are, and you don't have to perfectly shape them. I got a little change right there. And sometimes that's nice, just to have that little bit of difference in there so it doesn't look so um, perfect. see a little bit of a right here part of the leaf this one's on there too and you can put some little taps in here too down and through here give it a little dimension there step back for a minute see what we're doing oh it's coming along really cutely so you probably are wondering what kind of flyers these are but they are mums we're going to be doing mums here just going right into my yellow here providing some texture Nice, nice. Okay, we're almost done with our leaves. We can get those completed. Putting my little round brush away. over a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here. Summer being over, kind of sad now that we don't have any flowers. We just have the well, we have the mums. Those are nice. Um, little, you know, the fall flowers. All nice, pretty flowers. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Is this dry? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's get some of that yellow, some white, into the yellowish green. See if we can get some uh, variegated shades in here. Oh yeah, this is good. And you're just kind of like um, tapping this in. Uh, just kind of like getting a little bit of that onto the edge of these flower uh, leaves. 
See how nice that looks. And I'm just using that white, a little bit of yellow because yellow uh, is very transparent. And I'm just tapping it in there where I feel that I want to see it. There's no set um, rule for this. Just tapping it in where I think I want to see green or yellow on my leaves. You can put it throughout the leaf, you know, it doesn't have to just be on one side. Put it in through that leaf. Kind of give it a little pizzazz, you know. You can make it a little darker in some of these spots if you want. That's up to you. You know, there's no set rule here. Uh, this is your painting, you're the creator, and you created how you want it to be done, not how I want it to be done. And then you can show me. I'd love to see some of your works. Um, I still have not been able to get anybody to post any of their paintings, and I would love to see them. I'd love to see them. I can guide you. I can offer advice if you like. I want you to be successful at this. It's not a hard thing to do. It just takes a lot of practice, patience, and the idea of not feeling that you're better than anyone else. We're all at different levels. I know some uh, artists tend to be big-headed and then they think that they're great. I've seen quite a bit of that in my art life. I'm going to put a little darkness in here, just a dab of darkness here, just to get that kind of dimension in there. So it's, there we go. And sometimes, uh, you know, people think that they're better and they just, they'll never say your work looks great. They'll you know, hem haul around. I'm not like that. If there's something wrong with it, I'll tell you in a constructive way. I've been in many uh, various associations where that's happened and I kind of gave up on it because I thought, you know, we're all we're all at different levels. It doesn't make, make any difference what level you're at. You don't have to make someone feel like they're they're better than you, or you're better than them. And I'm sure you've seen it. I'm sure you've seen it on here, on uh, YouTube. finish that up and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got the rest of the leaves done. Now we're going to, um, what we're going to do is mix some white with some of my phthalo red. And I'm going to mix about four parts, I think, of the white. Grab that. and one part of my phthalo red. It's a very pink shade. Um, it's kind of, it's pretty. So, uh, just a tad of that in there. Mix this up. This is going to be the background of our flower. So we're going to get that in. Well, actually, I think I like that as part of the top part, and I'm just going to uh, paint the 
other part with the thalo red um because i just i want the lighter shade for the tops of these um actually you know what these are these are uh, you know clover so in the summertime you know how uh bees hang around that part we don't see that anymore in this area but um the clover is real important for the bees so i'm just gonna go around here with that just straight out of the bottle phthalo red now i'm sure you can find this somewhere else you know it's not uh something that you know it's sort of like a pink shade so i'm sure you can find something that's comparable to this color if you don't want to go on to the uh, deco art site Now, we're going to like put some little splotches into this also, but some of that pink is going to, I mean, some of that yellow is going to show through. That uh, green, yellow, yellow, green shade that we made. Okay. Now I'm going to get my little round brush that I had yesterday. That's that creative mark, or well, I had it yesterday because I'm doing this in two days. So apologizing. I'm going to fill that up. And we're just going to make little strokes like down, you know, like how your clover is with this little brush. So I'm just tapping it and lifting it up. You can see, tap it and lift it up. Tap, 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 lift it up. But yet I'm having some of that green of mine showing through. You want to kind of do this when it's wet because, uh, you want to get the various shades in here. Various shades of pink. Then you could go into some of your white too and just get a little bit of white on your brush. Do the same thing and then it'll come out a little like variegated. And you're going to do this with all the little clovers. If you find you're losing some of your darker shades, put some of those in. Just tap them in there. You definitely want some of that green to show through here, you know, that uh, yellow green. Then I'll come back over this with some of the darker pink again because I'm losing my value there. But have some of that uh, yellow green show through some of that. That's looking cute. Very cute. Okay, so the other thing that I'm losing also, I noticed here, is some of my green on my leave. So I'm going to go back into my green. Just kind of fix that a little bit. 
and put some of my lighter on top. It's okay if it overlaps. See, I finished all those leaves and now it's okay if some of this overlaps each other because you want some darks and stuff. A little dark in here. Have it stand out some. bit more of that mixed up that yellow green kind of tap that in there all right so let's see here now I've got three brushes I'm going to go back into my darker red here, my pink, and just tap in a few darker spots here. Just a few. Just to give it a little depth. You work through this to your liking. There we go. That's so cute. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some white on my brush here. And we'll make some of these come out like that. Down, kind of. A few down, downwards. Get some of the darker pink. how nice that looks that really looks cute okay so let's do this bigger one here I'm gonna go straight into the pink or the red I'm putting my paintbrush sideways so I can get that nice and, and straight And I go flat with it. Just concentrating on what I'm doing here, making sure that I don't go out of the lines too much. I mean, it's a flower, so it's not going to be perfect. It's a clover. Clover. Itchy nose. <laughs> 
Okay. And I'm just going to tap in some of these just like this. Tap them in, into this area here. And we're going to kind of go like that. Make them go this way a little bit. But we want to keep some of that green so we don't want to cover up all the green. I'm just tapping it in. Tapping it, tapping it. And this is my number six. Bright. My number six bright that I'm just tapping it in. Not overdoing it. Because I want to let some of that green show through. Now I'm going into my light pink. And we're just going to tap them in. While it's still wet, and with this one, I'm coming this way a little bit. Getting some of my white, not with a whole bunch on there, but just tapping that also, bringing it down into some of this pink. Let some of that dark pink show through. Get some more of that white. You can use a larger um, round brush if you like, but this one seems to be the one that I want to use. I just like the way that the, uh, the way that it shows through here. If you press harder, you get bigger ones. Tap it, lift it up, tap, lift up, tap, lift up, tap, lift up, tap, lift up, tap, 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 tap. Make them different sizes. This one's going to be this way now. Tap, tap, tap it, tap it, tap it, lift it up. Tap, lift up, tap, lift up, tap, lift up, tap, lift up. This could go over a little bit over the leaves. Cause you want you don't want that perfectly round. You know what I mean? It's got to be different sizes, different little pieces on top here. pink in there, the darker shade, like we did up here. 
little bit of white. Put some of that in there too. But you want to keep some of that green showing through here. Irrigates it a little bit. Some more of that shade of pink up through here. I don't want those little edges showing. And plus, it's going to come out over anyways. Just like I did up here. You want that to come over the circle. Let it come over the circle. Tap. Lift up, tap, lift up, tap, lift up. Tap, lift up. And let's see here, get some white. When you look at clover, it has all these different shades in. That's what we're trying to establish, those different colors in that clover. Let's get some of this too. Just kind of bringing some of those dark ones through. Because it's going to be darker down here, get some of the dark ones to come through too. It's going to be darker on this bottom part because the sun's coming this way. Got to think about all those things when you're painting. Where the sun's going to be coming from, which side. So you want it a little darker on this side, maybe. on this side. There we go. Oh, how cute. It's looking so cute. Okay, let's go back to this one now. We're going to go to this one. So the hardest part right now is just putting in the um, little details of these flowers. Then we got to finish off our bee. Got to get some yellow in him and some orange. I'm gonna make some orange up. Do his eye. Put his little wings on. Get his little wings on. I think I'll put the other flower in too while I'm at it. Just get this one in here. 
Now this one's going to go over here. Let's see. Hello. It's got a color in the side here. Am I in the way? I hope not. <laughs> hope I'm not in the way. to get this in here and I'm going to get my little round brush going back and forth here but I do want to kind of like bring this in this way a little bit okay all right so let's start putting in our light pinks Tap them in, making sure you go over the edges. It's all right if they mush together, because we're going to be adding white too. But you're just taking little sections of these strokes. You're not going big. I don't want long, you're just doing little short ones, little short strokes. Kind of follow the flower. Tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift. Tap and lift. So you kind of almost don't even think about it after a while. It's going to be lighter up through here. Tap, 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 tap. some of that show through that green okay let me get some of the darker in through here Oop. tap and lift Okay, I'm going to go into my white, and I'm wiping off my brush. I'm not cleaning it. I'm just wiping it off. Get some more of that dark here. I don't want this running together that you can't see it. Okay, go into my white. I wiped it off. I'm just going in and adding some highlights to some of these areas right in through here. Because I want that to be sun's coming this way. Okay. That's looking nice. That looks good. Get a little bit more of the pink here. Okay. A little dark here. Wait for that to dry a bit, and then we'll go back. Now think about where your sun's going to hit this time. It's going to be on the top part of this, and on probably this side, I would think. Tap, 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 and lift. Tap and lift, tap and lift. When your brush starts to dry out, get more paint. Tap, 
tap, tap, lift, tap, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap. You're dragging it and lifting it. Some more of the darker pink. Gonna pull it together with that. Let that dry a little bit. Tap, tap, tap. Get a little bit of dark in here too. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Maybe about seven or eight strokes, nine. Nine strokes. Go into my white. And I just tap it a little bit here. Get some dark. I'm gonna put some dark in here now. Just tap it. Tap, tap, tap. This is kind of blending with the rest of it. There. Okay, we're going to let that dry just a tad. Get some over here too. Just in case you don't uh, put a frame on it. Sorry I'm in the way maybe. Uh, if you don't put a frame on it, you want to have it looking decent anyways. Okay, so there we go. There's a few little white ones in through here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm done with that for now. Okay, so I'm going to use my number four flat. And I'm going to mix up some yellow and white. Because I'm going to put the um, yellow part of the B in. And then I'm going to uh, work with uh, one of my rake brushes. And this one is a one and a half inch rake, and it's a Wilson Bickford actually. And I use this just for acrylics, not for the um, others. And I'm going to paint in my yellow here. Now I mixed some white with this, so I'm going to go over it with a darker yellow also. I mixed white in here because of the opaque. Uh, I wanted it more opaque. Because if you notice that um, yellow can be very transparent. So for, for now, I want to get the yellow on here so that it covers the dark spots here. And then we're going to make it a little darker. Oh, he's so, so, so cute. Now, um, got to get the eye in. So I'm going back to my little round brush. I'm cleaning it off. I don't want pink in his eyes. And we're going to go and make his eye. So I'm going to make it dark for now. Get a little water and mix it in there. But he also has a little white in there, so I am going to grab a little white and make it sort of gray here. I want it to look like an eye. Okay. 
and put that back in the water. Now I'm going to get my yellow and just go straight in here with the yellow. Straight yellow. And at the bottom, oops, we're going to be fixing that. Uh, at the bottom here, I want to get my little bit of that red and mix it with some of the yellow, the transparent yellow. Make it sort of an orange shade. Now I didn't wash off my brush, if you can see that. A little orange, just kind of like feather it up here, make it a little dimensional. So I'm just pulling it up, just pulling it up, kind of giving it a little dimension. little dimension here. Okay. Okay, so now I want to get some of my ultramarine blue on my brush. And I'm just going to highlight some of this area on top here with that. Just a little highlight on his body. Okay. And now I'm going to get my rake brush. Now I'm going into my black. When I, my canvas, my palette looks pretty messy. But when you use a rake brush, you have to push down on it because you want to make sure, as you can see, I'm pouncing it, that those little hairs on that brush are apart. Now I'm just going to go through here, get some of those little areas. Make it look so like fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy. Now I gotta watch because I'm gonna have to get some of my yellow too. And I'm going just into my yellow. See that? It's pulling too much because it's still wet. Let's see. Pulling too much of the yellow, so we don't want that. Too much. Too much share. Don't want that. Slightly go through it. Try not to pick up the yellow as I'm doing here. It seems like I'm getting quite a bit of the yellow in here. Okay, we're going to get some of that hairy stuff down here. Just pull it through on all, all the uh, body parts here. Even out this away a little bit. We're gonna get some of that yellow to come through too. Okay, now I got a little bit too much of that black going up into that, that area of the sky, so I'm just going to go into my, I can wipe this off pretty good, get this clean here, into that sky blue color and just kind of dab it a little bit so that it's kind of covered up here. Just brush it on up. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so I'm going to wash my brush. Let's see, I might have another one. Well, yes, I have another rake brush, and I'm going to use this one here. It's a uh, half inch also. I am going into my yellow. Same thing, pushing those bristles, pushing them good. Pushing them pretty far apart, if you can see that. Okay. We're going to go this way now. those out that way okay sorry about that I don't know where it stopped uh, but I was putting in the wing and I'm going like kind of lightly with white I'm not going to uh, I don't want to um, I want this wing to be transparent and we're coming up with a second wing and this will show you exactly what I did um, look at my picture here and this wing is kind of behind the other one. So, and it comes down. So you're just going to go lightly. Hopefully, you got enough of this that you can see it. And I tapped in two eye um, highlights here. Just tap it in a little bit more so you can see another hot the highlight a little bit better. Of course, you have this little bit here. Um, finished up with the hair, and I think let me push this forward here. I can widen it. Oh, that's far away. Let's see if we can. Oh, go into the where the bee is. Can you see the little hairs? and just the way that the uh, wings are so that will be it you've got your clover I'm going to add a little bit more white just to get some of that um, let's see here on here some of the white I'm just using my little brush because I don't want real big pieces here just to tap it in and you can use a flat. I mean, if that if you feel better with that, you use what you can, what feels better for you. I'm just adding a little white to some of these areas here, so it's you can see through some of that darker. Let me stand back here and let me see it. And I think we have a picture, and I'm going to sign it with my pen. And this is my paint pen and I think well I'll put it over here I'm just gonna put my initials like I usually do and uh, I guess until next time then um, I do not know what here I see something I don't like sometimes you see things and you keep going over it over it over it but right here, I think I had a little too much of the pink came out. So I'm just going to kind of go over that a little bit with some of my yellow green. My yellow, my green, my white. Just kind of go over this a little bit. Because this leaf goes on top of this, so you just want to kind of like make sure that goes on top of it and then let's get this bottom part here there you go all right I think we're done I think we can call that a painting so until next time uh, we will see you and have a good day and paint happy